Top 10 Real Richest Kids in Uganda, Welcome to your Top 10 Television, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so as not to miss out on stories that we upload on a daily. Rich kids the world over have had to live with stereotypes such as being lazy, entitled, snobbish and showy. While this stereotype might apply to quite a substantial number of them, there are some who are exceptions to the rule. Today we profile this special group of rich kids who are also doing their personal hustles and chasing careers irrespective of their parents' wealth. True they may have trendy lifestyles, traveling to exotic locations at a drop of the hat, carrying around the latest gadgets, driving posh cars and their monthly rents might be equivalent to a university's yearly tuition and party like it is going out of style but they are also very enterprising. Number 10, Lucy Bunyanizi. The intelligent and charming Bunyanizi, famous for her fashionable instagram account is a perfect example of the rich kid not afraid to make her own money the best way she knows how. Asked how much she makes a month, the London educated model, actress, beneath the lies, and blogger firmly declines to comment, saying she does not discuss money in her family's possession as a rule. But we know that her monthly expenditure must be more than your average mid-level manager makes, if her trendy wardrobe and frequent travels are anything to go by. Currently the gorgeous Bunyanizi is doing a lot of internal touring shooting videos for her vlog. She comes from a very wealthy and enterprising background. Her father, businessman Ezra Bunyanizi is the director of security firm Security 2000 and was one of the first people to invest in travel, opening up Uganda Travel Bureau, a flourishing tour and travel company of the 1970s and 80s. Number 9, Natalie Patricia Bidatour. Bidatour is smart, driven and humble. Born on October 28, 1989 at Paddington Hospital, London to Patrick and Carol Bidatour, the stunning entrepreneur grew up in Kampala and attended school in South Africa for a year before moving back to England to complete the rest of her education. She graduated with a degree in business administration and education from Kiel University. Before innovation took over, she worked as the Chief Business Development Officer for Tatera Properties and HANDY256ME in Uganda. She is hailed as one of the most inspirational women in African for her Musena cart, an environmentally friendly, solar-powered vending cart. Each cart, according to Bidatour, saves 3,000 tons of carbon emissions and improves the health of cities by eliminating pollution from charcoal and kerosene stoves. Number 8, Njian Zanunu Mujianai. Save for the accent, bold Kampala founder Nunu looks like any other attractive, fashionable Ugandan girl. Up close, there is nothing average about Nunu, in addition to her wealthy background, her commitment and hunger to succeed makes most Kampala entrepreneurs seem like jokers. With her three partners, she has turned bold Kampala into an award-winning retail outlet, housing more than 30 clothing and accessory brands from six different African countries. Bold Kampala is a platform designed specifically for African entrepreneurs in the fashion industry. Nunu probably inherited her business shrewdness from her mother Mary Mujianai, a retired politician and businesswoman, and father former Bank of Uganda Governor Joshua A. Mujianai. She credits this background for inspiring her entrepreneurial journey. Number 7. Gloria Wavamuno. My name is Gloria um, I'm the founder and artistic director of Kampala Fashion Week. Uh, Kampala Fashion Week is a platform organization that is a platform for upcoming. Uh... Born in London, Wavamuno was raised between London and Kampala. Having been inspired by Mother Maureen Wavamuno, a fashion designer in her own right, Gloria's approach to fashion is more contemporary and more global. As a daughter to one of the wealthiest men in Uganda, Gordon Wavamuno of Wava Group of Companies gave Gloria an opportunity to attend exclusive schools such as Kampala International School Uganda, later graduating with a degree in fashion, design and marketing business from a university in London, UK. She has participated in fashion weeks in New York, Paris and Johannesburg. She held the first edition of Kampala Fashion Week in 2014 and her brand continues to achieve popularity all over the continent. And we appreciate and respect each other, which I also think can be quite rare. Because you have friendships oh, yes. you love and then you hate them, but like family 
yeah, you can do the same, but it's great when you are like, wow, I actually like my family and I, I, I trust them and they get along. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of child were you? Were you a quiet child? Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Is it obvious? Or maybe my dressing doesn't like give it off. People are like, she's so flamboyant with the way she looks. So she couldn't be there, but I was. Yeah, I was a quiet child. You I was in my own mind, which I still am. So it's so you weren't very outdoorsy. I was outdoorsy, but I wasn't social. Like I like my own experiences and my own space. And um, luckily, my family kind of noticed, so they were cool with it because they were like, she really just sits somewhere and paints. So like she gets up to so much. Number six. Heron Mwanga Mwanga comes off as a very polished, well-educated intelligent man with strong filial bonds. Most people outside the rich circles might not have heard of Mwanga because he tends to keep close to home. However, in a crowd of moneyed people, he stands out with his extra sharp suits and designer shoes. Officially, he is Bulemumya Mwanga Kibaraj's assistant, confidant, sounding board and advisor on everything modern and trendy. Number 5, Alexander Akondwanaho. Jen. Salim Saleh's firstborn is the youngest Ugandan to ever own an airline. Back in the 90s when he was just a minor, Akondwanaho and his mother Jovial Saleh owned their own airline aptly named Air Alexander. Decades later, a grown-up Akondwanaho is known in Kampala social circles for his hard partying lifestyle and fast posh cars. Although he has various business interests, Currently he seems to have heeded his father's rallying cry for farming and started his own poultry farm. Number 4, Liz Kakuza. Liz Kakuza is a bubbly, articulate and fiercely focused daughter of Justice Irene Mule Yagangia Kakuza, the Inspector General of Government. She is a world economic global shaper for Uganda and currently serves as the curator for the Kampala Hub. She is also a YALI Fellow 2017 and a Leo Africa Institute Yelp Fellow. She is the founder and executive director of the Tumani Foundation which she believes will address the mental health crisis by changing perceptions as a stepping stone to improvement of healthcare services on the continent. Number 3, Prince J. Junju. Prince Crispin J. Junju Kigwa is the firstborn son of the Kabeka of Buganda Ronald Mwenda Mutabatu and Lady Venetia Sebudandi. Rwanda's former High Commissioner to India. Prince J. Junju is a big mover and shaker in Ugandan society. He attended King's College Budo Junior School, Kabangia, King's College, Budo, Moncton Kum School, Bath, Samsurset, and the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst where he was commissioned as 2nd Lieutenant Uganda Army. He has been ADC to Kabeka Mutabatu since 2009. Number 2, Siki Kigongo. The gorgeous daughter of the National Resistance Movement Vice Chairman Al Haji Moses Seko Kigongo and Uganda National Chamber of Commerce Boss Olive Zaytun Kigongo, breathes and lives entrepreneurship. Her family's wealthy position is not lost on her, but unlike others who would just choose to live off what is already in the bank, she chooses to invest in things that are closest to her heart. A self confessed cosmetic fanatic, Kigongo's return to Uganda after attending London School of Economics left her shocked at the dismal offerings in the shops and supermarkets. The result was Amagara skincare which has since expanded from body lotions to include shampoos, shower gels, and organic hair oil products. Number 1, Rajiv Ruparelia. This one needs no introduction and on this list, his name is cliché, but again a Kampala rich kids list would not be complete without a Ruparelia because, let us accept they are wealthy. If we are to go by appearances, then the party-loving Rajiv is being groomed to take over the Ruparelia vast empire. So far, he has taken up managerial roles in the family empire alongside his sister, which includes hospitality, real estate, and education sectors. There's nothing that can, there's something out there that can stop humans from operating from their day-to-day -day life operations. Uh, but at the same time, we need to understand that as much as COVID is affecting us as human beings, as a race, as a species, we also have a big challenge that we are also highly dependent on a capitalism market, which means that a lot of... So what do you think about top 10 real richest kids in Uganda? Comment, like and share. Remember to subscribe up to our YouTube channel. 
hit the notification bell so as to get notified immediately every time we upload a video. Thanks for watching your top 10 richest kids in Uganda.